What do you need me for? Lifting heavy things. Well, actually, not so much heavy as awkward. Aye. So we need to get this. <laughs> you look so unimpressed by the idea of that. <laughs> this needs to go downstairs. Okay. I've taken everything out. I think I physically can. Uh huh. What to make it lighter? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Dave. So I can probably strip it further. Really have to see how bad you think it is. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Want to go first or second? I'll go second. Sure. Right. Yeah, I think so. Cool. We'll just work our way around the corner. Oh, my hand is going to go down. Can we yeah. go down? Yep. My hand is going to get stuck on this wall. Well, hold it from the inside. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Trying to go up. Think you can manage that with your end. Um, can we turn it no. on that side? What do you mean on this side? That won't fit. Yeah, that, that way. way. I mean, can we just go up? Oh, what you mean is in on its end? Yeah. Not with any particular ease. <laughs> Is that secured there? Yeah, that's safe. Um, we may have to just go up. We tried that last time, I can't get it over my shoulders. I don't think you'll have to, hopefully. I think only I'll have to get it up over my shoulders. So if I get it above my head, you can just come around very slowly and carefully. Do you, okay. think, do you think you can get those up to sort of near your shoulder? Um... Or you think this is the bad one, which we have to go down. <laughs> right, uh, it needs to come back towards you for me to get in there now. Right, so it's all fine. Towards me. I've still got it in the air. Yep. Cool. Right. And can you lift it up a tiny bit? Oh. Uh, there you go. And down. Your end down anyway. Racing generation, should I? I don't know how we're going to get it down those stairs. Those stairs are even narrow. Go down, go down. Yeah, okay. Why go are you down. stopping to talk whilst go you're down. holding it? No, I checked it, I measured. What it fits? Yeah, that's why I took the handle off. Even with hands on the side? Yeah. By how much? About three millimeters. It fits by three <laughs> millimeters. <laughs> well, it doesn't go through there, so we're going to do exactly the same thing with over my head, then you're going to follow me down. Are you ready? Sure. Five. Five. Right. So, watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. Fingers good? Yeah. Okay, so, we get around. I'm going to go down. Uh -huh. Come towards me. Yep. 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 Very nice. You clear? Mm -hmm. Good out. Now coming very slowly towards me. Uh -huh.
You good? Yeah. Now I'm going this way. Right, you're going in first. <laughs> Bang in the middle. Right. Can you get out is the question. We could rebrand it and paint a manicale on it. It wouldn't take a huge amount, what I actually do with you is also clean up that and this, which I just need to completely pull out all the nails, mm. clean everything down, and build it back up again. I mean, but the question is, is it worth doing? Well, if you're going to use it for the next few years, probably. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it was not a huge job on the bits. Chickens are having a feast on the inside of the top of the thresher. Oh my god. Yeah, paint stripper is brutal stuff. Oh, I love that smell. Petrally. There's your thick gel one. Three hours and 30 minutes and then wipe it clean. Leave on for three hours? Yep. God, that's a long time. Let's have a look, see if you agree with me. Apply uniform. Live for three hours and thirty minutes. And oh between three and thirty minutes. Not three hours and thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's slow. Yeah, twenty minutes sounds about right for paint stripping. <laughs> We are making dinner. It's still early for making dinner, but we have a whole process going on here. Oh my god. Yep, Fenton barking at nothing. I'm making goat curry with roti and a cucumber salad. So we have our goat here. This is from one of our male goats that was slaughtered and I did want to use this auberge that I picked yesterday but I think I'm going to use potatoes instead because I feel like the potatoes will thicken the sauce and roti I learned to make roti for my grandmother god bless her soul <laughs> so yeah we have um a full Mauritian <laughs> dinner tonight, <laughs> which I'm very happy about. We are also going to use a lot of our potpourri chilies because we like hot food. Yeah, let's make dinner. Also, you know how we were talking about our pressure cooker being broken? Well, it turns out that it was just the cable that was tucked because this is electric so you have to plug it in to use so we tried a new cable before throwing it out and it works it works it's a miracle oh, this is quite big isn't it where's the joint there we go. Aha, bitch. What, Salem? You can smell meat. You can smell meat from outside, can you? This is not yours. Big piece in there. 
on everything. I cannot work out how they're getting out. Mm. <laughs> you look quite shook by the whole I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Because <laughs> then also, then they couldn't, like, they wouldn't show me how they got out and go back in that way, so I had to grab them all. And it's really hard when you've just had to chase a goat all the way up a field, up three levels of hills, through brambles and everything, when you catch it, not to just snap its neck. Mm, yeah. I really thought about it twice. I would say it's quite satisfying knowing that we're about to eat one of our own goats, especially after what Tom's just gone through. <laughs> knowing that you're about to just eat one of them. Or its shoulder. Or its leg. enough space in this pressure cooker for the amount of goat that we have. <laughs> goat and potatoes. I think that's all I can fit in here. I think that's all Tom and I can eat to be honest. Okay that's all I can fit in there. That's like the max line. I've saved these ribs, I'm going to wash off the salt and pepper and then pop it in the pressure cooker tomorrow and make bone broth for the dogs. 
valve close. 45 minutes. with your royalty. Is this your first real goat curry? No, we've done many of these before. Mmm, very goat. <laughs> not actually very, not actually goaty at all. Spicy? Really? No, not really. Huh. No, it's got a nice warmth to it, but... Uh-huh, a good kick. Not mm. enough to make your butthole explode. Not enough that you'd actually even notice it. Mm. Try some. Wait till morning. Oh god, look at that soft, soft root mm here. -hmm. Oh wow. The meat's got a kick, uh. 
But no, I'm trying to put in that. It's really not that spicy. It's there. Like, it's there, but it's not. Gen- gentle warmth from the back of the throat. Yeah. Très gentil. Mm. That's the sound of Fenton crying. Because John's just left. What are you crying at? Why are you howling? You're not a husky. Come on. So today is a day of all the driving around doing every chore imaginable. Firstly, our mechanic just got back from holiday. Our mechanic is an absolute legend. His shop is called Old Rusty Garage and he does an incredible job on everything, especially vintage cars. He just very kindly popped round to have a quick look at our van, which has been buggered for a while. Well, not buggered for a while, buggered briefly. So he turned around and went, yes, exactly what you thought is wrong, which is the new ignition key we put in, which was buggered. So I'm now off to all the places he's recommended where I could potentially get a new one. I also had to go and get a new battery. And I need to get a new long flurry tube light bulb. I need to get a new wheel for the cart. I already bought a new battery, which was 105 euros, which is an insane amount of money for a battery. I mean, I know it's a battery for a big fan, but the last time I put a new battery in my Land Rover in the UK, which is an equivalent size battery, I think it was 30 quid? Just a bit. Insane. So today is the day of searching and hunting for a little piece which I happen to have, luckily, the one that we removed so I don't actually have to cut out the rope uh, before I start to drive. But here we go. So darling, talk to me about garlic. I don't want to talk to anyone about garlic. <laughs> <laughs> How do, how do you feel about garlic today? I don't ever want to see it, smell it. I don't wish to be associated with any type of garlic. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to process the garlic today? A whole day. Mm-hmm. How much do we get? If we're lucky, maybe four jars. <laughs> I'm actually tearing up about this whole thing. Really? I'm genuinely tearing up Are about you actually it. emotionally broken by <laughs> garlic? Something is making me do <laughs> I think it might be the bucket of garlic you're sticking your nose in. Oh, my God, we both had a fucking day today, didn't we? Uh-huh. Let's just call it. Let's get drunk and watch the tiny little Spanish bastard. <laughs> Welcome to Car Maintenance by somebody who doesn't know how to fix cars. So today I'm doing the great pleasure of replacing the key ignition system on our big van, which is... A interesting level of faff. Back, you two. Nope. I don't care that Toby's there. You're not going out to play while streaming. What we have here is this setup. Where I need to take this off, replace it with a new one, and change over all these wires to match these. Which is going to be interesting. supposed to cut that. Fuck me. That doesn't move. 
These are mainly fixed pieces. So how in the name of bugger do you get it off? And then, oh jeez. Well, that's fixed. Sort of pop that around this way. Good morning. So, it is safe to say that we are this close, this close to actually murdering our goats. <laughs> they still keep escaping over to the neighbors' fields. Yesterday, when Tom got them back, we saw where they were jumping in from. It's now just the small ones, but they literally jumped up the fence and through the big hole at the top. So this morning, we've just spent the last four hours redoing the electric fence on the hill so that they can have access to the hill again, which should hopefully stop them from going in the opposite direction to the neighbors. Oh, there we go. So if you can see, I've just been strimming around this line here and then curves up to there so they can have access to the big hill and also they can have access to the what used to be the vineyard down there so Tom's now trying to gather the dogs back because <laughs> we've just turned the electric fence back on but literally look at them the moment we open their gate they're straight up on the hill well about all these three huh? They didn't hang around, did they? Yeah, no. They like their hill. So hopefully this will make, give us some peace. But also we're rethinking the whole goat, goat situation. They were fun and the babies were fun, but now I'm over it. They're little escape artists and it's just too much work. Every day they try to escape. Every day you have to try and get them back. Go on. Look, there's a vineyard full of vines for you to eat. Put your bitch wine. Tomorrow, strum the hill. Put a wire around the back of it so it comes up to where it's super dense and then I think we're sorted. Or do we just leave it? If they get lost, they get lost. If they get eaten, they get eaten. Do we care? We've got Antonio's for it literally just for the bit that's the two roads. Because mm. I don't want them either wandering up the road. But if you remember, even though we fenced that bit, they got out of that bit. They got out onto the road. Did they? Yeah. Oh, we just never saw. <clears throat> I saw, I just sort of left them because they always came back. Yeah, true. And there's nothing down there. Yeah. If they go that way, those people have got chain, um, guard dogs. Yeah. They're not hanging around there. So if anybody wants some goats, you can have them. <laughs> We're willing to give away, what? Four of them? Four, four of ours. We might just keep two. Free goats. Free goats for anyone that wants. Free goat. The thoroughbred, 50 ahead. How much should we pay for them? 70? Yeah. Six, no. no, 60. 60 for the small one, 70 for the big one. Yeah. Sell them back to Antonio for like 50. Yeah. I'm sure he'd take them back. He likes his goats. The thing is also, I mean, they're going to be back and forth loads anyway. Yeah, I suppose. He'll want to keep his here at some point and vice versa. in the future. Yeah. yeah. I just realised I'm wearing one of my horrible shirts again because it's so sweaty. <laughs> Come your dignity. Your dignity. Well, that I would call a solid job of work. Yep, that should give us some peace of mind for at least yep. another week. Uh -huh. well, I'm looking up the top and I've, I've realised there's a load of vines and shit up there as well. So hopefully they'll just start blitzing all the new growth from the summer on those. Mm. Well, having them here now might also keep the boars out. Oh yes, we had boars on our cornfield. cornfield. We were wondering why there wasn't really that many corn on there. It's because the boars were eating them all. Yeah. Huh? You're not doing your job. You're supposed to be keeping the javelin off the land. But no, somebody snoozes hard at night. Well, and the thing is, so Fenton snoozes through the javelin and Salem hasn't realised that they're an issue yet. Mm. So she just sits and stares. Well, I came out at like two in the morning and the field was full of boars. She was just sitting on the terrace, just looking. <laughs> just like, I wonder what those are. 
I wonder if I should bark. Yeah. I'm a little sleepy. Worst guard dogs ever. Mm -hmm. Stop eating chicken poop. It's funny, I think we're done for the morning. Yeah. When you pop to the shop, we get some beers. <laughs>